Hey guys, we're here, and welcome back to Valhalla. Today we're going to be on the ability and continue the it's Nottinghamshire. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. And we just beat the building. Everything's in this <laughs> underwater cave here. <laughs> You found my secret haunt. Hmm. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. Hmm. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father, a battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in this state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Billy. Your father expects it. The people of Snuttinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor. I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England, and you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Hmm. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! <sighs> Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Coming a yarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Will Heminger Jarl go to heaven, Mother? I... I hope he will. Oh, dear Heminger. Our Jarl. Eivor. To see you both together again like this. It recalls days long past. Makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader worth Worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and 
charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I've watched you grow. A dirty haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud. Dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> And I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter I, uh, I, uh, uh. Father, Willie. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Ah. Uh, what a fight here. What a perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How yeah. do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's skilled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you seek. I will flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. <laughs> My wager. Thank you. Are we ready? Let us begin. <laughs> what know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! <laughs> I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! <laughs> I can sleep more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. While I doubt you can take me, I'll give you a go. That was delicious. It's rare that I meet one who can keep pace with me. So, uh, what do you say? Shall we find somewhere and exchange a little more than, uh, words? 
It was only a flight. My winnings, please. <laughs> yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? It's been a true pleasure. <laughs> Here's my help. Oh, uh, uh, true bear. A worthy pyre for Heminga Yarl. This journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Heminga Yarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon till we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trukvi. I pledged my life's oath to Heminga Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. <laughs> I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heminga Jarl. <laughs> There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Heming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? Mm. It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Mm. All right. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. All right. This is an outrage. Our strong feelings for Heming come with festive. Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre's lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trukvi. I will do what I can to calm things. Alright. <laughs> go, soon in. Alright, let's go for That's <gasps> Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a... Did you see that sobbing sack of meat with the roosters? What an arsehole. Up to three warriors, three! Look his whole place waste here! You mean Hemminger's famous fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws, save me from their wrath! Ah. 
Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Uh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Yeah. I didn't see them coming. I never looked down. I never saw. Aid me. Be my eyes. Here over there. I didn't see them coming. I never looked down. I never saw them coming. This thing over here with smoke is. <laughs> Yes, no. Did you see what happened right. to the house where they kept the Voda? It has gone up in flames. Oh, made us fire. <laughs> Help! Fire! Save my. What is this Voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help! Fire! Right. Save my vodite burns. Help! Fire! Save my vodite burns. Mister, what had him? <laughs> Please retrieve my Voda, I beg of you. It is my funeral gift. The honor of my family at stake. If this is your Voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes. A most potent drink. Distilled from grain by the Rus of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. My eyes. Mm, a bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Watch yourself. The Voda sneaks up on you quick. <laughs> the vodka. <laughs> and sway. Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. That's cool, they right? are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. Come out, you dung-eating rat! What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I ask you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him. Unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. You think partly invisible? <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! Get that stay out! Now! Oh no, I lost it. You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. 
I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Shut your mouths, both of you. Your antics have outlasted their welcome. Now go. Some more no. to be restored. Now to trick me to let him know. Hey, that's being a trick me. I've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trukvi. But time... Yes. It will. Alright. <laughs> this is an excellent shield, Sonifer. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. <laughs> but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkerthorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. All right. This is an excellent shield, Sonifer. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. To speak to the craftsman, the master craftsman. Right, here's Odin's beard. You are a difficult man to find. Heminger uh. Jarl is dead. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? <sighs> oh, I do, Karen. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't even need to use all the stones. <laughs> right. hmm. Your heart is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Who are you? A friend of Heminger's? Or a man exiled by his order? It does not matter who I was. I am nameless now. I am no one. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Weirthen. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. Hi. How did you come to be here? Fate. 
I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Him and Gyal desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Billy to decide. Billy has no say. Fate has already decided. Hmm. Hemingway will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Billy has found his spear. Cool, the thing here. Well, I'm gonna have to do here. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Catch you next. And goodbye.